Hello, welcome to Revit tutorial. This is Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to create spiral staircase. So, what we do here, the first word, the first thing to create is to use a component on the architecture in Revit. So, a component is that component, particular component is here. I'm going to click on steer. So they are already the size certain predefined of this size full steps spider. We have center spider how this are being created and being used. So but we are not going to we want to create a special one. So we want to create it by key sketch. So this will allow you to do the spider the way that it suits us. So when after you have created something like this, the first to do is to use your boundary and create something for your own use. So here I want to create a circle that is where my staircase will follow through. Okay. I want to use this aspect or you can use your three end point radius to do that. Depends on the way you want to do your stairs. So I want to use this one for my whole use. So I'm creating another inner boundary. So this one will be in this manner. So I've created those boundary for my use now. So the next thing is to create the riser so that it will align together with what you are whatsoever I'm doing. So what is it telling you? It's telling you that the riser created so you need twenty two riser to get your actual to get to the next level of what you are doing so you start creating the riser by click on riser good so one method i usually use is that i use a center line method so by that one you allow me to rotate and everything so you calculate why than hit c you define 180 by 22 so that will give you the actual angle of what you are doing so use your calculator or maybe anywhere you have your calculator you can use calculator on your computer if you have so you use 180 and you divide it by 22 so that gives you 8.1 degree so that's how you want what's what you want to do here now 8.1 degree so 8.1 degree, you are going to use rotate to do that. So you click, you put it here, and you start doing the rotation by typing 8.1. Enter. So this one, this particular one, you rotate with what with move. So you're going to click it again and say copy. Click on copy, and you turn it. No. I just said click like this see and you say copy you adjust it here click here and you bring it here so now you're going to do everything now since you have gotten that the only thing you need to do is to follow from the existing one so still there and copy copy from here put it here so you can now copy the two if I copy the three together so be more faster Click here, say copy. So bring this to middle and drag it. Okay, it will have used two. Okay, let's just use the three. You delete one because it's going to be finished. So now you delete one. So from here, you copy this, this four. Then you say rotate. So this is the first way, first method of doing it. Move it to the middle the center copy take it to the middle and you click here good so you select control on your keyboard select this the mini four again say copy drag it to the place to the starting point then move it from there good so you now do the same thing it to the middle, drag it from there to this place. 
so you see what we've done so here now you can align this last one it's going to give you english but don't bother so the last one now what you do delete this particular one and delete this delete these two good so what is telling you that one riser created one is still the main one but don't bother about that the another floor will do that for you so do a stand for the air and i like the air if it's possible let them trim you don't want them again too quick too quick okay it's too slow for me so maybe we didn't do one back one after the year so i think that was faster the joints trimming is a little bit slow so we do this for everyone So please like this project at the same time subscribe to our channel for the daily video we are bringing to you good so that is the steer the pattern you have already drawn so the steer part now depends on you follow the parts that you know that is okay for by you so you can use this method as well from the middle hmm. this part so you do was click delete this so you click finish so this is part he has followed like that so you go to your upper floor and go and create Floor that this thing will flow through. So you, here you say, floor architecture. We we'll finish. Here we finish the drawing for you. Okay, so you click floor and you create floor around here. Create floor. And you do you create your opening around that this particular design you have done or you just use your pit line to do that so this one we serve as an opening to the good say finish so you can just now go to your ground floor or click delete from this one or create yes if let me create another floor create the floor stuff that will be created here so you finish so as this one is done you go to this place and you say delete it's of no use like that so what you do go to start elevation you just see the pattern and with the old system take place i don't like this particular you can decide to change them we have any other one that is that is suitable and fit i think this one is suitable and fine so you can decide to change this one to, to something like a monolithic steel it's good so now we have this one so you choose your camera and you look at it from camera perspective, camera point of view, I'm telling you that this is from the top. So you select your camera this manner. So here, yeah, you use your graphics. to fit so that's how you create your your staircase 
by using Revit standard. So that's how you create staircase in Revit. So you study that and make use of it to your own benefit. So subscribe to our channel and you see